Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 Online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a modded outfit from Director Mode and add a IAA badge to it. So, please smash the like button and share this video. But let's jump right into it. As usual, we'll start this glitch off in Story Mode first. We'll launch Director Mode from there. Next, once in director mode, we'll make sure that we don't have any actors inside of our shirtlist. So mine's is grayed out because there's nothing in it. If there is anything inside of your shirtlist, all you want to do is go inside of it and hit triangle to remove each and every actor that you have inside. All right. From here, we're going to go into actors, animals, and shirtlist our chicken, hawk, bird by hitting triangle. From there, we'll back out, go down to online characters, and shirtlist our GTA online character that we want to do this glitch with by hitting triangle. And then backing out, back out again, and then go down to exit to story mode. Once in story mode, we'll simply start up an invite only session. Now what you guys want to do is make your way down to the current time trial. This does change from week to week every Thursday. Alright, from here we want to open up the interaction menu. Make sure your spawn location is set to last location. And then you guys want to force a game save. You can do this by changing your outfit. So I'm just going to change my outfit to a different outfit that I have. And this one is actually a standard outfit. Doesn't have to be, but this one is. Alright, from here we'll hop into our vehicle. Head over to the time trial. Hit right D-pad to start the time trial up. Once the time trial is started, we'll hold down on our D-pad and switch to a story mode character, any one of our choosing. In this video, I chose to go with Michael, so that's what we'll do. Alright, once back in story mode, we'll open up the interaction menu again and go back into director mode. From here, we want to begin to duplicate our birds. Next, we'll go inside shirtless actors and we'll begin to start duplicating our birds by holding up on the left analog stick and switching between our GTA Online character and back to the bird. You guys can go AFK and do this as well by putting your controller down face down with the analog stick pointing up or you can put a rubber band around the controller. But this part right here will take approximately 26 minutes until our character is glitched out and standing over here on top of the hay bales. Okay, once the character is on top of the hay bales, all we're going to do is land on our chicken hawk, hit triangle to remove it, hit circle to back out, then go into actors, beach bums, down to either boardwalker, muscle sands, bodybuilder, any one of those categories down there, and you want to hit square to begin changing your appearance. We're going to stay in this category for, let's say, about one to two minutes before leaving it. And we'll see if that'll keep our character as modded characters instead of turning back into a normal character. But at this point, at the same time, we are glitched out and we are looking for a modded outfit. One that has a working Christmas mask on it. And you guys still want to make sure that the outfit doesn't have any potential blacklisted items on it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm looking for an outfit that I would like to take online that also has a working Christmas mask on it. I do have a video on that. I'll put a card here at the top right showing you guys exactly a list of all of the working Christmas masks. But once you guys do find a outfit that you like with a Christmas mask on it, a working one, it has to have a Christmas mask on it. Otherwise, it will not come online. Then you guys just want to hit triangle to shortlist it like I did there. Next, we'll just continue to search for an outfit that has the IAA badge that we want to transfer onto that outfit. So all I'm doing here is just changing my appearance, looking for an outfit that has the IAA badge on it. So this one right here, I noticed that it had the chain that carries the IAA badge. So I spotted it and then I stopped, I backed out so I could see if it had the badge by the pants. And from here, all we're doing is just backing out and then going into our shortlist. And immediately once we enter our shortlist, we will have the IAA badge hovered over all of these outfits, attached to all of these outfits. And it's as simple as that. From here, all we're going to do is select the outfit that has the IAA badge on it and the outfit that we would like to bring online. Take it into director mode by selecting it. From here, we'll wait in director mode for approximately 30 seconds while wearing this outfit. After that, we'll hold down on the D-pad and we'll switch to any story mode character that we have available. From here, that's going to put us inside of story mode with this outfit. And we want to wait another 30 seconds while wearing this outfit. 
And once we do that, we'll then hit options, go to online and start up an invite only session. Now, once you guys land inside of this session, you should notice that you have that outfit on if you did all of these steps correctly. Plus, if the outfit didn't have anything black listed on it. All right, so this outfit that I got right here is pretty simple, really clean white body armor underneath some pretty normal clothing. It does have a few logos attached to it as well, so that's really dope. But the very last step that you guys want to do here once you have this outfit online is go down to the clothing store and make sure that you guys save it and name it something appropriate so it won't disappear or it won't get wiped. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there, guys. And now you have an IAA badge on top of this outfit. You could also switch up some pieces on this outfit. The IAA badge will stick around as well, so you can kind of create some more custom outfits within the clothing store while wearing the IAA badge. So make some clean modded outfits with that as well. If you're having any problems with this glitch, let us know down in the comments. We pretty much got fixes for everything. If your character is turning back into a normal character, I have a video for that so you can look it up on YouTube. Also, if you're trying to get a bird character unlocked to do this glitch with, I have a video on that as well. You can look that up. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. As always, we're trying to get this channel up to 100,000 subscribers. And I need each and every single one of you guys watching to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you're new so you never miss a single video. Please help me help you, you guys, and keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos. Until next time, this is your boy, Glitch Guru, officially out. Also, we do have the private Discord up and running. Things in there is going really well. I am trying to add some new people, but I am scoping people out as well so we can verify people. We don't want any kind of craziness in the Discord. So, um, yeah, just be a part of the channel. That's the way you can get in there. Let me know if you want to be a part of the Discord. And then, you know, I'll kind of, you know, verify you on my own. Do my own research, my due diligence on you or whatever like that. But, uh, yeah, we will be checking you out. And then you guys can get in there and get some of that exclusive content and some of the things that I have planned for the Discord. But, once again, we are out. Peace. Enjoy the video. Hit that like button. Share it. We out.